Hi, welcome to Gret Lab Canada. First of all, we want to thank you for purchasing this amazing unit. I hope you'll be as excited to use it as we are. Uh, the first thing you need to do when you receive your unit after unpacking it is you need to charge it. It's not quite ready to go. It does need to be charged. That can take up to two to three hours. So your regret comes with this handy dandy little bag with uh, your USB charger. There's a little salt scoop as well, which we'll set aside for later. And of course the instructions on how to use it. But for now, let's just look at how we're gonna charge this. So on the top is the on off button. And when it is glowing orange or red, that means that it is needing some charging. So if I push it, you see that this is glowing red right now. Once it's fully charged, this ring will glow white. So we don't want to take it off the charger until that ring is white. Underneath the handle is located the little plug-in for your USB. I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to take my unit over to where I normally charge my phones and plug it in. There we go. Now you'll notice it's glowing a yellowy orange. So that means it's still needing to charge. So this will probably take about two or three hours. And then after that, we'll look at how you make your first batch of EO water. This is how you're going to make a batch of hypochlorous acid in your egret generator. So now that you've fully charged it to the point where your indicator light has turned white, you're now ready to make a batch of hypochlorous acid. It's very simple. All you need is 800 mils of water. I prefer to use warm tap water because I feel like it just dissolves the salt a little better. You can use kosher salt or table salt. Now when I cook, I use pink Himalayan salt. Do not use pink Himalayan salt in your egret. You are only to use table salt or kosher salt. So to take your canister off your egret generator, you're going to see that there's lines lined up here. This is important for putting it back together and taking it out off. It's recommended that you hold it in your left hand because you can only turn this clockwise to remove it. So I'm going to remove the canister. And again, when you put it back together, you're going to line this line up with the line on the egret. So when I put it together, I have the line a little off to the left and I turn it, whoop, <laughs> I turn it back until it locks in and clicks. Okay, to make our hypochlorous acid, we're gonna take 800 mils of water and you'll note there is a max fill line on the canister. I fill it to just slightly below that line because once you put your generator in, that's gonna raise your water level. Next, you wanna add a full scoop of salt. You can only use table salt or kosher salt. Now, if you lose this little scoop that comes with your egret, this is equal to one teaspoon measure or five grams. I always give it a little bit of a stir just to get that salt dissolving. Sometimes you might have a little issue where the salt isn't completely dissolved and it might uh, plug up the atomizer a tiny bit, but it does clear eventually. Don't worry, your egret is not broken. There we go. Now we're going to turn it on. And here you can see our water is electrolyzing. All right, so here you see that blue light go glowing and you see all the bubbles forming and that's uh, showing the action of our egret making the hypochlorous acid from your simple ingredients of salt and water. Now this takes three minutes to generate a full cycle. However, after 30 seconds, you can actually start spraying because at that point it's already reached a level of uh, sanitization that's acceptable. 
So now I go around and spray some of my high touch areas, such as my cabinet handles, my tops, of course the fridge door. Every time you generate a cycle of electrolyzed water in your generator, this gives you 10 minutes of generation time and usable time to spray. You can press the button again and generate another cycle. You could do it up to three times, but we don't recommend you do it more than three times with this same batch of water and salt. By doing it three times, you'll actually have approximately 200 parts per million. You don't really want to go over that. So after you've generated your EO water and you've sprayed down the surfaces that you want to spray, you may have some extra left in the bottle. Now, if you're like me and you don't like to waste anything, even though, hey, this is just salt and water, it's pretty cheap. I like to transfer it over to other bottles, which will keep for up to four days with the EO water. However, if you add a little bit of vinegar to the water in your other bottles, please don't put it in your egret. When you've transferred your egret water into a bottle, it's handy to have a bottle that has uh, measurement lines on it. That way you know how much water you have in there. And if you add a quarter teaspoon of vinegar per 250 mils of water, this will extend the life of your EO water for up to two weeks. I love to transfer the EO water into a little handy, small spray bottle like this. I take it with me when I go out of my house. I use it to spray my hands. I spray my phone, my watch, my steering wheel. If I'm going to sit down somewhere, I spray that area. Super handy to have.